Oh, whoopsie. Hello, Virgo. Sorry, Virgo, let me just um, stop dropping things. That'll be a good start. How you doing, Virgo? Hope you're doing well. Let's crack on with your reading. Hmm, interesting. This is interesting. All Earth signs have had the Four of Cups. All Earth signs have had the Four of Cups. I I've just done Capricorn and Taurus, and now I'm doing you. I tend to do the elements in, in one clump together. Not always. Not always. Because sometimes I, I sort of break the habit of doing them together because it's they, the messages are so similar sometimes between the elemental signs that um, you just want to break that flow. Not break the flow, but just... You just change it up for the variety, just to spice it up. Variety being the spice of life. Like sometimes I go through the calendar zodiac as it is. Page of Wands. But the significance there is I have just done Taurus, Virgo, and they got the Four of Cups. Capricorn also got the Four of Cups. You have Page of Wands, you have Three of Wands. And they both had similar messages to do with finding a life purpose. Could be a person, but finding a life purpose. And what their mission here on Earth is. Five of Cups. So Four of Cups, Page of Wands, Three of Wands in your past row to do with being offered an opportunity maybe to travel, being offered an opportunity that is inspirational and creative. Five of Cups seven of wands swords sorry five of cups seven of swords maybe you've had some obstacles there are a lot of obstacles currently going on to do with things that you are passionate about eight of cups ace of cups i apologize So I misspoke and said the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups by accident. So any kind of arguments that might be cropping up currently, I mean, basically don't argue until the 18th of January or the 19th of January. I, uh, maybe try not to argue at all, but sometimes it is necessary. Now, just did uh, Taurus Capricorn... I think they both had the death card. Interesting. They both had messages of rebirth. Okay, the spiritual journey. Make sure to pay the ferryman on that spiritual journey. Hmm. Seven of Cups. Having so many choices that you don't know what to do and slightly being overwhelmed with those choices. So I'm getting this message of going away and then coming back as someone totally different. Let's clarify.
Four of Cups on the Four of Cups. I kid you not, one of the other Earth signs, and I think it was Taurus, maybe it was Capricorn, even though I've just done those readings, one of them had the Four of Cups clarified by the Four of Cups right at the beginning. So a huge opportunity, something that has always been your destiny, the universe is trying to make happen for you. And it's definitely got that Earth sign attachment to it for this week. Doesn't mean it's happening this week, but for the readings that are going up this week. I mean, it's a timeless reading. Tarot is timeless. To have the Four of Cups on the Four of Cups twice in the space of three readings, that's pretty out there. Four of Wands, celebration, freedom, completion. So you have already um, done a lot of work towards this um, rebirth, this revolution. I don't mean, I mean, I mean a turnaround, like a revolution of karma, not like an actual revolution. Okay, clarifying the Three of Wands. You have the Three of Wands. So with these doubles showing up, it is making me say you, you are very clued in to what this message is about. This Five of Cups here, I think, I think this Five of Cups is, is maybe about the sadness of others. How sad people are going to feel when you go away on this journey. Okay. Six of Wands. Now what's really interesting here, it's next to the Six of Swords. Now that is the Six of Wands, it is a card of victory, but look. Look how similar this Six of Wands in this deck is like the Six of Swords. When you go away on this journey, it is a victory. It might not feel like it at the time, but it is. Okay, Virgo. Eight of Swords on the Ace of Cups. Mm, in the past, where you feel like maybe you've been... Maybe you feel like there's been energy from an ex that's been trapping you from being able to actually... Not trapping, sorry. But there's something to really embrace the next new passion. You deserve love and you will get it. Queen of Wands, maybe from a Leo, maybe from a Scorpio. Okay, and on this Six of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So no one can go with you on this journey. It has to be something taken alone. Okay, and in this final position, oh, three cards actually came out there. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So there might be some time still to wait yet. 
Um, this thing might not be going full steam like this King of Pentacles card here. Until April, May. And then there's going to be a whole new beginning. Ace of Swords. Okay, Virgo, let's pull you a affirmation card. And you have adventure. Well, life is an adventure. Be ready for the unexpected and make the most of all opportunities. The angel wisdom suggests you get out of any habits or ruts in which you are stuck. Do things that are different and face life with a sense of wonder and sense of humour. If the path ahead seems dark, do as you would if you were exploring a dark place. Ask your angels to light up the way. Then watch for the signs and signals that tell you where and how to go. Explore the new with excitement and courage. These magnetic qualities attract money and career openings and add zest to relationships. The angels are inspiring you to move forward with anticipation, expectancy and hope. The affirmation with this card is, I face the adventure of life eagerly. I face the adventure of life eagerly. Okay, Virgo, thanks for being here. Very interesting readings between all the Earth signs. Maybe in this circumstance, you should go and watch the others. But don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Especially if your moon or rising is a Taurus. Obviously, I've already done the other Earth signs, so I haven't had the opportunity to tell them to watch all the signs. But now I know, because you're the final one. So there you go. Take care. Until next time. God bless.